What's good everyone, Kyle Loftus here, and today we are gonna talk about my morning routine, how I set up every day for success. So first and foremost, why is a morning routine so important? For me, I think a morning routine is so important because, you know, the morning is how you set the tone for the day. So if you wake up and you're snoozing your alarm three or four times, you're rolling around being lazy, you're setting up your day for failure. You're setting up yourself for just utter laziness, procrastination. Um, That stuff is going to continue to carry over. However, if you wake up with intention and tenacity, um, not that I wake up every day like, okay, time to go. (laughs) You know, there's definitely some grogginess to it. Um, You know, but no matter what, I do not let myself snooze the alarm. I wake up with the intention of getting after it and kicking my day's ass. (laughs) And so I'm going to I'm going to teach and hopefully help you guys uh, do the same if you're not already. And again, you know, I think it carry over carryovers uh, into more than just, you know, how it's going to um, influence uh, the rest of your day. Um, but the morning routine is very important for getting yourself in the right state of mind for the rest of your day, you know, putting you in the right frame of mind where you feel um, cognitively aware and present, uh, you feel happy and motivated, you feel like you have purpose, um, you know, waking up every single day and feeling like there is a purpose to your day rather than just waking up and cluelessly like, you know, I don't know, what, what am I doing today? What's the point of today? You know, like having a purpose with every every single day. And again, we're going to we're going to touch on these different points. Um, and lastly, I think it carries over into the more macro sense of like your life. You know, if you're waking up um, every single day and you have a morning routine, that's going to give your life more routine. It's going to create positive habits. And when you form these habits, it's going to just benefit your life a ton more because now you have these very, very beneficial habits in place um, that are going to continue continue to improve your life, whether that's, you know, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, etc. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and kind of break down my personal morning routine. Um, and as we're breaking that down, you know, I'm going to go ahead and discuss, uh, you know, the different elements and how, how it affects and plays out into the rest of my day and mindset, etc. Um, and so I've got some notes here on my phone. Um, so I just want to make sure I, I get all these talking points for you guys. I got the new phone too, by the way, I love this whole face ID thing. It's kind of scary, but it's really, really cool. Like the fact that it just unlocks like instantaneously from looking at my beautiful, beautiful face. (laughs) Um, so first and foremost, me personally, you know, I wake up every day at about 7 AM. Now there's some people that wake up at five o'clock, you know, they say, Oh, you got to get up before the sun rises and grind, grind, grind. I can't do that. I can't wake up in the dark. I know myself I can't. And so I don't. Um, additionally for me is I, I like, I'm a night owl kind of, you know, I like staying up at night, um, staying up late. I, I kind of go through this weird phase where I'm, I'm very motivated and energized all day. And usually I hit a tired spurt between, you know, six 30 to eight 39 PM. And then I get this energy boost again. And then I'm, I'm up again until like midnight and I feel like very active and I'm ready to create and produce and make content again. Um, and so I'm aware of that. And as a result, you know, I want to make sure that I'm always getting a solid seven to eight hours of sleep. Sleep is very important to me as well. It should be to you. Um, and yeah, and so as a result of that, I know every night I'm probably not going to bed until about 1130 or 12 o'clock, aka midnight. And so thus I try to wake up every day at 7 to, uh, excuse me, at 7 a.m. Um, and uh, additionally, you know, for me, just being aware of that, you know, is is setting myself up for the right times. You know, I, I was about to say 730 because last year that's what I did. I woke up at 730. But this year um, I'm trying a new methodology, um, something I got from my friend Lamar Pinson. Um, actually, one of my first, if not the first podcast episode we did. Um, but we talked about morning routine and he had a, a close friend who's p- competing for the Olympics, actually, uh, to be an Olympic wrestler. And his whole thought process was whatever time, time you need to wake up in the morning to get your day started, you should wake up 30 minutes to an hour earlier. And his whole mindset and reasoning behind this was that, you know, if you wake up at the exact time you're supposed to and just one thing falls out of place or you fall a little bit behind on doing one thing, 
you're behind the rest of your day or say you snooze your alarm or you miss your alarm clock and you wake up an hour late. Well, now you're an hour behind on the rest of your day. So now your day is owning you rather than you owning your day. You're spending the rest of your day playing catch up. And that's not only having a negative effect on the work that's actually getting done, but also your mindset and the way you're thinking about yourself and your work ethic and thought process. Because, you know, if you're doing that and then every day you're finishing early or you're you're not getting everything done that you wanted to get done. Well, that has a negative impact on your confidence um, and your trust in yourself and your abilities. And it can really impact not just what you're actually producing and creating and getting done, but how you think about yourself in in that aspect as well. And then again, that's going to continue to snowball and and it's going to get worse and worse. And so this year, you know, I'm trying to wake up every day at 7 a.m., 30 minutes early. So that way I kind of have that that influx, that extra little breathing room, if you will. Um, But yeah, so every day I wake up first thing in the morning. Um, I like to kind of gather my thoughts, if you will. I lay there in bed for about a minute to two minutes and I just kind of speak out, you know, what I'm grateful for. And so some of these can be the same thing over and over, um, you know, but I'm always trying to challenge myself um, to say at least five new things every single day. Um, So I'm saying about five to 10 different things that I'm grateful for, but challenge myself to say, you know, at least five new ones every single day. And sometimes, you know, that's really hard because, you know, I'm trying to say this every single day, but every single day I get exposed to new things or new people. um, And I realize, oh, wow, like I don't have to go through that. Like I'm so blessed. I'm so grateful. Um, you know, and it's just a lot of things we, we oftentimes don't really think about, you know, and so just doing that puts me in a better, um, frame of mind, better mindset. I wake up every day and then again, I'm very, very grateful. Um, and by expressing that gratitude, it makes me realize even more, more so how blessed and, and I am in my life. And so as a result, you know, I'm even more grateful and motivated and driven to, to make the most out of my life. Now, after I state, um, you know, what I'm grateful for, I like to get up and head over to my wall and I head over to my wall and I read out my mission statement and my goals, Um, my mission statement. Now, this is about 10 to 12 different sentences. I wrote these out about five years ago. I wrote these in college and uh, wrote these my senior year. And these are essentially my driving forces. You know, these are these are essentially the mission statements of my life. You know, what is the point of being here on this planet? Um, What is the point of my existence? What am I trying to achieve and do in my life? And these are the more macro sense. You know, these aren't goals like to be the best filmmaker in the world, to to get a Emmy nomination. Like, no, these are literally like more macro and like worldly in the sense of, you know, having a positive impact on the world and making sure that, you know, I give back as much as I get um, and stuff like that. And so that again, just continues that that builds upon the gratitude and that puts me in that better state of mind it reminds me, you know, what I'm doing, why I'm here in the overarching macro sense, you know, and then I jump over to my goals. Now, these are pinpoint things, um, things I, I have goals set to do every day, set to do every week and biweekly, monthly, and then yearly. Um, and so again, reading these out loud, again, puts me in that frame set, puts me in that mindset of, hey, you know, this is what we're doing today. This is what we need to achieve. Um, this is where we are at and what we're what we're trying to to accomplish with our career and with this month and with this year. And again, it keeps me more focused, um, aligned with my goals, and, and it gets my mindset right as well. And so my mindset, not in just the emotional state, but um, my mindset in regards to uh, what I'm t- like physically or excuse me, not physically, what I'm actually like tangibly focused on, you know, so these are tangible goals. These are kind of physical things, if you will, that I'm, I'm reaching for specific physical things or numbers, et cetera. Um, and again, this is all just continuing to build upon each other and and get me in a better, um, mindset, um, and get me really, really motivated to kick ass and take names. Um, And so while I'm doing all this, I'm also taking my morning pills, um, which are like vitamins. I do a B complex. I do a keto energy uh, pill. Um, I do these uh, just generic men's multivitamins. Um, And then I do um, also fish oil. 
So those are the kind of morning pills I take um, to kind of get me going and, and boost it up for the day. Um, and then I brush my teeth every morning as well, as well as at night. Got to brush your teeth, folks. It's very, very important. <laughs> um, and so after I do all that, then I head over to the gym or I go for a run. Uh, I'm a avid person for health, wellness, and especially working out. I'm addicted. I love it. I got to do it every day. Um, and I think I'm not going to spend too long um, on, on this episode here, you know, talking about working out and um, eating correctly. Um, save that for another episode. But those are two vital things that will drastically impact you in every aspect of your life. I'm not kidding. I'm not exaggerating. If you implement those things and start taking better care of yourself, you will see your confidence grow. Um, you will see your ability grow, your energy grow, your passion for other avenues in life grow. Um, literally, it's going to positively impact your life in every aspect. And I cannot, I, I cannot uh, try to, you know, push that upon you guys enough that you should, you know, be more active, um, try to eat um, more consciously and be more health, health conscious and aware and just take better care of yourself and your body. But so I, I go to the gym. Um, that's kind of my favorite, my, my favorite place to go. That's like my, my, uh, my dojo, my church, if you will, <laughs> that's my, it's my religion. Um, and so I go to the gym and I like to get about an hour to an hour and 15 minute workout in. I get that workout in. But before the workout, um, I do want to mention I do stretch. I do about 10 to 15 minutes of stretching. Um, that is a new thing I've taken on in, in the past month or so. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and act like I stretch every single day and I've done it my whole life. I despise stretching kind of. <laughs> so I never really wanted to do it growing up. I just wanted to go straight to the lifts and such. And now that I'm getting older, you know, sometimes I'll end up kind of pulling a muscle a little bit when I did that um, in 2019 um, a couple different times. And so now I'm, I'm just being more conscious of that and like, okay, dude, like slow it down, stretch, loosen yourself up and then work out. And now that I've done it for about a month or so and form the habit. I love it. Like love it. Stretching is so amazing. I, I forgot, you know, how big of a difference. Cause you know, I haven't played like uh sports with like a team since high school, really. I mean, you could consider college like communal sports and stuff, but like, there's no coach for that. So no one telling you, Hey, stretch dude. Like, you know, so since high school, I haven't really had to do stretching before workouts and stuff. And I forgot, you know, how better it makes your body feel how much more loose you feel and ready for your workout um additionally i think it's a great way to wake up too that helps wake me up a little bit more before the workout the workout i love doing the workout in the morning because it really gets me um motivated it gets me excited for the day it releases those endorphins so i feel really happy and self-confident about myself um and, and again it really wakes me up like i feel groggy in the morning and kind of like slow and like i had this layer just like over like my face and like my brain. But like when I work out, it's like it just sheds it all off. And I feel so mentally clear and zoned in and focused. Um, and so I love working out in the morning. That's a big reason why. But again, yeah, you know, the stretching as well, you know, helps wake me up. So I, so after stretching, you know, I work out, get this great, great workout in. And again, it, it, it gets me motivated, gets me excited and, and pumped for the day. After I work out, I like to come home, I take a quick shower, clean up, have my protein shake, um, and then I, I like to learn a new language. You know, I've been super passionate the past couple of years about really mastering a new language. Spanish particularly has been my favorite. Um, I've gone on these little, you know, spurts where I go six months of just diving heavily into the language, doing like Duolingo and, and trying to like kind of pen palette or like, but using WhatsApp essentially with uh, some friends I've met online and through Instagram and such. Um, and then it just kind of, I get too busy and, and it dies off. Um, and I'm, you know, really, really want to focus this year on making sure I really master a new language one, because I think it's kind of ignorant not to know another language. Um, and especially just to know English, it just feels, I feel so stupid and ignorant for being that way. I was totally that kid in high school was like, I don't need to know another language. Blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to know English. They'll speak my language. Like, it's amazing how much I've changed from where I was like freshman and sophomore year of high school. I swear to you, like my life just has utterly change. I'm so different. But anyways, um, so I really want to master that. So I spend about, you know, 15 to 30 minutes a day um, practicing a new language, which obviously Spanish is my focus. Um, it's going to be my focus the rest of the year and potentially the year following. Um, I really want to 
really master the language as much as I can here in the States and then um, try and immerse myself in the culture for a couple months. Um, Been to South America, love it. Been to Spain, love it. Not sure which I'll choose to go to again. But I uh, would really love to, to head to one of those areas, immerse myself for a couple months and, and get to the place where I feel like I really can can speak the language fluently um, with people, you know, out and about and, and communicating and such. And so after I do that, there's the optional add on of reading. Um, it's not for everyone. For me personally, I do enjoy reading, but I'm a terribly slow reader. And so um, a big thing I've started to do a lot more of this year, because for me, reading, I don't read like fictional books. I'm a visual person, so I'd rather watch a film or TV show, Um, but I love reading self-help books and books about business and and just generally self-improvement and such. And so for me, um, I love reading those books, but now I've kind of jumped to a lot of podcasts like, um, you know, I listen to a ton of Gary Vee, Timothy Ferris, Lewis Howes. Zach Kravitz. Um, these are just some of my, my favorite podcasts to listen to right now. And so those are great for just getting me again in a great mindset, teaching me some new things, providing me value, um, giving me things I can try and implement in my life and see how they impact and influence me and my happiness, etc. cetera. Um, but if I'm not doing podcasts, um, I'm reading and, and excuse me, let me backtrack a little bit. So I listen to podcasts every day. I listen to those during my workout. So not only am I getting, uh, I'm, I, I'm just trying to like benefit my life as much as possible like whenever possible. <laughs> so when I'm working out, I'm listening to a podcast. Um, once a week, I'll probably listen to music just to change it up and like have a little bit more fun in the gym. Um, but I love listening to podcasts during my workout. So I'm you know getting great knowledge, insight and value while I'm working out. Um, but sometimes, yeah, you know, if I've got a current book or current read after Spanish, you know, I'll read for about 30 minutes. Um, generally just read a chapter, however long that kind of takes me, but that's generally, you know, about 25 to 45 minutes. Um, so I'll read a chapter again. This is just providing me more value and insight and things that I can use in my life, continue to grow and build upon. And, you know, as I continue to read and listen to these podcasts, you know, sure, I'm just grabbing these little tidbits here and there, but they add on and add up. You know, in 10 years from now, I'll have so many of these little tidbits, like I'll just be, you know, a thesaurus, a dictionary of information and knowledge and insight um, that I can provide value to other people, um, as well as just use to better my life and my businesses, etc. Um, and so after all of that, you know, I jump into some emails for a little bit. Um, and to kind of give sense of time. So, you know, generally, uh, you know, I kind of, again, I wake up at seven, I'm at the gym by about seven 30, I'm done and back home from the gym at about, you know, eight 45, maybe 9am. Um, again, then I hop in the shower, protein shake, um, do some Spanish read emails. And by, by the time all that's done, it's around 10, 15, 10 30. And at that point, I begin my day. That's when I kind of begin the process of of whatever I need to work on or accomplish during that day. So my morning routine, you know, is about three to three and a half hours. Um, and so this is three to three and a half hours that I consider, you know, my time, my routine. This kind of puts me in a better mindset, um, uh, state of mind. You know, I feel better and more confident and happy and motivated for the day. Um, and again, guys, it's so vital to have that because it's these three to three and a half hours to myself and, and that I'm able to really re-energize myself, regain my focus, regain my passion, my tenacity, my motivation, because, you know, every day I'm exhausting myself. I'm working from 10 30 or 11 AM until seven or 8 PM at night. You know, I'm working my tail off nonstop. I'm eating lunch and working at the same time. I'm not a break person. I don't do well with taking breaks. So I work straight all throughout the day. And then I quit at 8 PM and like, I'm done. I don't do anything else and just chill for like three, three and a half hours crash, repeat the process, you know? And so the morning routine again is, is a great way in the perfect way for me to re-energize myself, get motivated again, get refocused, you know, figure out what I need to do today to accomplish my goal for the month, for the week. Um, you know, what I need to refocus on in regards to my mission statement, like what am I lacking on that I need to do more on? Am I being too selfish lately? Like, have I done enough for my friends and family? Um, you know, and again, it just, it keeps me in this mindset and mind state where I'm constantly focusing and, and looking at and analyzing my life and where I'm going in every, each and every day, every single week, every month. And 
and how that's impacting my life and how it's moving me forward or backwards. Um, and by constantly doing this every morning, again, I'm constantly analyzing and reanalyzing, you know, my life and what's going on. And that way I never let myself fall far off track. I can always keep myself aligned and on the railings towards my goals, missions and objectives with life. And again, it's my morning routine that it's for me. You know, this isn't about businesses or clients. It's about doing this for me. You know, this stuff makes me feel good. It makes me feel happy. It makes me feel confident and motivated and and pumped for the day, for life. And so that is so, so vital and important, guys. You have to put yourself first, yourself and your health and happiness. Um, If you're not taking care of your body, if you're not taking care of your mind, um... And if you're not happy, you're not going to be successful. You're not going to do great things in life. Um, Eventually, I mean, you might do some great things, but eventually you're going to crumble. You're going to fall. Um, You know, you can't you can't uh, climb on a ladder um, with one leg forever. You know, eventually, you know, it's going to teeter off weight and fall. Um, and so keeping all of that in mind, I think the morning routine is so, so vital. It's, it's what's going to set the tone for the day. It's going to set the tone for your day. It's going to get you in the right mind state. Um, it's going to get you feeling motivated, confident, happy, pump for the day. And again, it's going to realign you and get your vision right. So you know what you need to do and where you're headed, um, down the future. Um, uh, but as a, res- you know, but more micro, you know, what you need to do on the day to day in the week by week in order to accomplish, you know, those goals and objectives in that vision you have for your life. Um, again, guys, that's just kind of a short little breakdown of my morning routine, how I set myself up for success each and every day and how I think you can do the same. Again, I think it's very, very important, something you should implement. Now, saying these things are what you should do. I'm not doing that by any means. I mean, maybe for your morning routine, it's just waking up and Maybe it's speaking what you're grateful for, and then it's meal prepping for the day or the week. Um, And then it's, you know, maybe it's doing some yoga or maybe it's going kayaking or maybe it's taking your dog for an hour long walk. You know, again, this morning routine should be about getting you in the right mind state. Um, I feel weird saying mind state. Is that mind state? It should be mindset. How many times did I say that? I'm going to sound like an idiot in this episode. Mind state. (laughs) Whatever. It's getting you in the right mindset. It's getting you motivated, excited, uplifted, happy. This is what it should be. Again, guys, the morning routine is for you. The rest of the day, you know, is for your business, for your clients, for moving your life forward. Um, But in order to do that, you know, you have to move yourself forward. Um, You have to move yourself up and take care of yourself. And so, you know, again, I highly encourage you guys to implement a morning routine, make it happy happen um, again. And uh, I'd love to discuss and hear about, you know, how it impacts and, and alters your life, you know, drop a comment, uh, you know, let, let us know. I'd uh, love to uh, discuss it more and hear more about what your guys' morning routines are. You know, I'm mine's not perfect by any means. Uh, I'm sure there's things I could substitute and change, um, you know, and so I'd love uh, some ideas and insight from you guys. Uh, let's let's talk about it. Let's let's chat about it. And anyways, uh, yeah, we're going to end on that note, guys. Morning routine, set yourself up for success and have a great day. Let's get it. Wow.